It all started with this, a simple post from ESPN Quick Info. And this is the retweet from Shoya Bakhtar. Let me read the exact words. Even today, three hurting bouncers and I can dismiss Steven Smith on the fourth ball. But could he? This is Steve Smith, the guy with the second best test average after Sir Don Bradman. And this is Shoaib Akhtar, the guy who bowled the fastest ball in the history of cricket. A battle between these two would surely have been fascinating, but who would get the better of the other? Could Shoaib get Steve out on the fourth ball? We can never know for sure, but at least we can try. Is Smith weak against quality fast bowling? If you have seen the last Ashes series, I guess you already know the answer. The battle between him and Jofra Archer was something extraordinary. That was a fiery spell from Archer. But Steve won against him. Steve got injured but Jofra couldn't get him out in what could be said the best spell of his bowling career. But let's not get into conclusions yet. Numbers always tell the truth, doesn't it? So let's look at some numbers. Steven Smith averages 63 in 73 test matches. His average against spin is only 48. So of course his average against pace has to be higher than 63 at least. Simple math. So not so great news for Shoaib. But wait, Shoaib was one of the fastest bowlers in his prime time. But Shoaib will be unhappy to see that Smith gets more comfortable as the pace increases. In his career, Smith has played 237 bouncers which were more than 140 km per hour. And in these 237 balls, he scored 191 runs and got out only one time. The average then becomes about 191 against fast bouncers. But during a limited time of his career, Shoaib actually bowled consistently over 150 km per hour. And 140 and 150 are not the same thing guys. It goes past even before you can see it. Let's consider this Shoaib against TV. But it gets even worse for the Pakistani fast bowler, where the average of batsmen against balls between 140 to 140 km per hour is 27.65, it increases when the pace also increases to 150 or above. It becomes 28.37, and these statistics are considering all the tail enders also. So I let you guys imagine where Steve's average goes to. Though the records don't bring good news to Shoaib Akhtar, you never know what might have happened. So many batsmen said that they feared facing Shoaib more than any other bowlers. Now surely it looks like Smith would have an upper hand after seeing all these stats. But you never know. But one thing is for sure, a battle between these two would have been a treat for every cricket fan. And who would have won? I let you guys to take that decision. And as always, thanks for watching.